the uh, American uh, budget situation started to really kick in. Uh, and the Army couldn't find any more money to keep the vehicle going, and so in the end, in February 2013, the program was stopped. Um, we then looked for the opportunity to bring the vehicle back to the UK so that we could finish development and show the world what it can do. So we're here at Hangar 1 at Cardington in Bedfordshire, um, original home of the R101. Um, it's now nearing the end of a full refurbishment and will turn itself into a, a manufacturing centre of excellence for hybrid air vehicles. to come be disassembled into 14 very large boxes to be brought over from the States. So it's going to take a while to put that back together. So by uh, later on this year we'll be doing testing in the hangar, ready for a rollout sometime around the end of the year. So this is actually two or three airships uh, squished together which mean that we can make the hull into a wing, so we can fly and generate lift, so we don't just, uh, not just reliant on the helium lift. So this vehicle uh, combines the, the benefits of helium's lift, so free buoyancy, with features of aircraft and helicopters and in some cases hovercraft to bring all those technologies together to give you really efficient transport. That means you can do very long endurance or large cargo being moved from point to point without any need for ground infrastructure. So it's going to take us the rest of 2014 to get this vehicle completely reassembled and tested and ready to go flying. So early 2015, we'll have the exciting prospect of this vehicle flying around the skies of Bedfordshire, around Cardington. So our plan is to use this vehicle to demonstrate the technology. Uh, and we've got a, on a drawing board a larger vehicle. This is 300 feet long. We've got a 400 foot vehicle on the drawing board. Um, we think both of those vehicles can uh, work across the world helping mining, helping disaster relief, surveillance like this vehicle um, and we hope to build hundreds of vehicles out of these hangars here at Cardington. <laughs>